Parents, listen up. There's a new baby formula recall. Formula maker Reckitt voluntarily recalled 145,000 cans. This is of the Infamel Pro CB Simply Plant Based Formula. Now, people who use this brand of formula should check the bottom of the can to find out if they have the infected batch. Take a picture of your screen right now. You're going to be looking for the batch codes ZL2HZF and ZLZ2HZZ. They'll have a use by date by March 2024. Now, any can with those codes and expiration date should be thrown away or returned where you bought them. You can get a full refund. The reason for the recall was a possible Coronobacter cross contamination. Let's dig into just what this mysterious bacteria is. First things first, Coronobacter is not related to coronavirus. The coronavirus needs a host like your body to survive. The Coronobacter bacteria can live inside or outside the body. That's what makes it dangerous if it gets in a food product. Coronobacter likes dry places like a big container of powdered milk or protein supplement. The CDC says Coronobacter illnesses are rare, but they can be deadly for infants and can be serious among people with weakened immune systems and people 65 years and older. In infants. That causes either meningitis or sepsis, um, which is very serious um, bacterial infection in, in infants, most commonly in infants under the age of two months. In people of all ages, it can give you a urinary tract infection and wound infection, meaning getting a simple cut on your skin could end up sending you to the hospital. Here's what doctors say is the most important thing to remember. There is treatment if you catch it early enough. A simple antibiotic should knock out the Chronobacter fast. Like you just heard, Chronobacter is not just found in baby formula, even though that might be where we're seeing it right now. It's found in products for adults too. And unfortunately, if products are contaminated with this bacteria during the manufacturing process, the only way to avoid getting sick is watching out for warnings and recalls from the FDA. Now, if you do get sick and you think it might be related to something you ate, you can report it to your local health department. They can identify what caused an outbreak and help control it. See a doctor, they can test you to determine what made you sick and keep track of what and where you eat. The CDC says food that made you sick, often not the last thing you ate. If you remember a year ago, a Coronabacter contamination at Abbott Laboratories sent an already short supply of baby formula plummeting. Combined with pandemic supply chain issues, parents were struggling to find food to feed their babies. Over one year later, sorry to say that is still the case. Rachel DeVore makes about six to 10 bottles a day for her four month old Maisie. After trying several different types of formula, Reguline was the only one that would work for her daughter. And finding it on store shelves isn't easy. It's just this like constant fear of like running out and we can't switch to another one because she won't tolerate it. DeVore was pregnant at the peak of the baby formula shortage last spring. We thought it was going to be solved when like by the time Maisie was born, and of course, it just got worse. She says, although it's not getting the same news coverage it did back in May or June, the formula shortage is still happening. If and when she can find these green cans, there are buying limits. We're definitely trying not to hoard, but also at the same time, we don't know if it's going to stay in stocks. Most stores only allow you to buy four or five cans or bottles a day, max. We have eight cans here. Yeah. How long will this last you? maybe two weeks. Moms like divorce say it's been like this for far too long. It's been a year since the massive Abbott recall that upended the formula industry. Nobody realized, myself included, the scope of the recall at first. Mallory Whitmore is known as the formula mom. She runs a website and Instagram page dedicated to teaching parents about all the ins and outs of formula feeding. Whitmore says Abbott produces about 40% of the formula that babies consume in this country under popular brands like Similac. When that recall shut down one of the biggest manufacturing plants in the country, it had a ripple effect and it changed buying habits. On average, the formula mom says people are buying 10 to 15% more formula than they used to for fear they won't be able to find what they need. 
it's hard for folks to realize that this is still as impactful as it is. Parents like DeVore and Whitmore say they're going to keep asking questions in hopes something like this never happens again. I wish that moms didn't have to save the world. I wish that we weren't in a position where it always comes down to a group of dedicated, angry moms to fix things. We are so glad to have those moms, though. According to a recent Securities and Exchange Commission filing, Abbott Laboratories is facing several investigations by the SEC and the Federal Trade Commission, as well as the U.S. Justice Department. WFMI News 2 at 6 is next.